Hey guys, it's Ryan here. I've been wanting to create or build or buy a uh, an AV rack to hold my surround sound stuff. And I noticed just purchasing online, if you were to buy a metal one or a um, anything really, I mean anything you just purchase online, AV racks are crazy, crazy expensive. And there's just so much that goes into it. So I thought, you know what, I probably could do a DIY version. And I looked online to try to find some DIY projects on how to build an AV rack and I really couldn't find anything. So I, I tried to had to, I kind of created this on my own here and uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like if you guys wanted to build an AV rack for yourself and uh, something that's probably about as cheap as you could possibly get when, in, when building an AV rack. Uh, so just wanted to kind of run through what I did here and what I built for you guys or what I built for myself and want to kind of show you guys, see what you guys thought. One thing to note though, this thing is a little wobbly. I probably could brace it up a little more but I really, with the two by fours, I think they are very, very secure, and I really doesn't don't think it's going anywhere. And uh, and I I think that uh, you know it's it's pretty solid. If I wanted to brace it up, I probably could put some more four by fours on the back, maybe, and maybe brace it up some, or even put some four by fours here and whatnot. But uh, let me just show you what what I did and see if you like it. Like I said, I really don't feel like it's going anywhere, and for the price, I'm okay with a little bit of wiggle um, in it. I, I do have it on casters as well, so it's also a like rolling thing. So uh, this little section here, this is my, uh, this is right underneath. This is my basement, my surround sound. You guys can't see, but it's off on this side, and uh, it's for my theater room, but uh, my theater area. The, uh, but this is right underneath my stairway, and so that's a perfect scenario, perfect spot for to have my AV components and uh, my surround sound. Um, all my just all my equipment is perfect right in this little um, cabinet or this little cubby here the little doorway little storage area so um, so what I did is I wanted it to be rolling because we also have room for storage in the back so I put it on casters so it can come in and eventually and I'm in the process of building a door so there's gonna be a building a, uh, um, a barn door here that's gonna be closed it'll close up completely be hidden but whenever I want to watch a movie or or uh, need to get in the back of something, actually, I mean, it should be able to operate even without, I can operate and watch a movie without opening the door. But uh, if I need to get behind here for storage, I can just simply pull it out and get back in storage. So this is what I got going. Let me, uh, let me flip this camera around here and kind of show you guys what I got. So this whole thing's basically created with a bunch of two by fours, uh, some two by twos here, and then a sheet of um, the plywood here. So plywood, I bought. I mean, you, it's up to you how much you buy, and, and you know, at your own risk there. If you wanted something a little more sturdier, you probably could buy a little more. But it looks like I bought uh, about a quarter inch, maybe a half an inch uh, sheet of plywood here. And then, uh, but what I did is. These are all two by fours, so I got two by fours at top that are going across on the insides, as you can see, and then this looks the exact same on the bottom. And then I got two by I got four two by fours going down. The two by fours going down, their lengths are just a hair under 75 inches on both of those. On all of those. Should be a yeah, just a hair under 75 inches on um, on these, so 75 inches basically is probably what I was trying to actually cut. But 75 inches for the vertical uh, two by fours, and then for the horizontal two by fours are, dun, 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 let me see here. Actually, it should be pretty easy just to do this. The horizontal two by fours are 21 inches. So I have four vertical inches at, or uh, two by fours at 75 inches. I have four vertical two by fours going across at, what was that again? 21 inches. The reason why I did 21 inches is one, I wanted to make sure this um, that I had enough depth. I also had a, uh, at the bottom here, I had a custom PC uh, that I had built that I intended to have hooked up and I can play on the, uh, on the home theater system. I just never used it, but I wanted it deep enough to be able to handle a, uh, that custom PC that I had built. So it doesn't really matter the depth that you guys have, just make sure whatever kind of equipment that you're building, Make sure that your depth, that it can fit on there depth-wise. Mine, I wanted to go with 21 inches. So my AV receiver, uh, my surround sound receiver here, 
is I want it also wide enough to be able to fit on that. So the width wise, what I did was I basically cut, I figured out the kind of shelving. You can customize however shelves, how many ever shelves you want, how little of shelves you want. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it is totally up to you guys. But what I did was, is I, those, these two by fours that I, that I have at 21 inches here, I also cut a bunch of two by twos. And I went with two by twos because I didn't, just in case like this, for example, this receiver, it takes up the entire depth of it. So if I had something that, if I had two by fours, every, everything was a two by four, then the two by fours would take up, instead of taking up this amount of space here, it would come down to here and it would take up not a whole lot of space. So all, you're, all you'd be working with was, would be inside the, uh, the pieces here. So I had two by twos all the way down and those were like the base of my shelves and it also provide a little bit more sturdiness, sturdiness uh, from here. But then I cut my, um, basically the strength going side to side were, was, is actually the plywood shelves themselves. So I created these and then at first I created the, like the square on each side. So I bolted these, these two by fours, top to bottom, I bolted these all up. And then I uh, figured out how much I wanted my shelving to be. And I'm pretty sure surround sound receivers are all pretty standard as far as lengthwise. This thing is 17 inches, and I think that's pretty much what every uh, AV receiver, any kind of like receiver equipment, typically I think they're 17 inches wide. So I cut for my um, plywood sheets, I wanted a little extra room, so I cut 18 inch wide plywood sheets so I created and I used a, a table saw for that so I had to go through and, and line up table saws and I cut um, I cut 18 inches wide and then 21 inches deep because that's what everything is is 21 inches deep so I created one two three four five I created six of those um, sheets of plywood that are all 18 inches wide 21 inches deep and then I had so then I needed a you know bases for every one of those new shelves. So um, let me think here, other than that, so once I did that, I, I basically stood these up and uh, on the ground, and then I uh, just started drilling the base, the two bases, I drilled the bases first. So I, we had a cube type of thing. Um, whenever these were standing up, I put these up against the two by fours. The reason, by the way, the reason why I mounted this underneath instead of on top, whereas everything else is on top, is I wanted, I have my, this is also the central of my house, so having my router sitting on top of this was perfect, but if I mounted, if I bolted it on top, I would brush the top of my doorway. So I didn't want to be able to brush the top of the doorway, so I mounted it at the bottom, so I can actually use this for a shelf as well. So I got my router sitting up here in the back. You probably can't see that. Um, and actually, you might have, this might be out of frame anyways. So this top one was bolted underneath of the two by fours. And at the very bottom here, I'll grab this. At the very bottom here, I bolted the two by fours right here as well, or the, um, the plywood to the bottom of the two by fours. And that created a solid, let me see here. Let me get you back on. So that created a solid um, foundation. And I had this cube thing that was going, and then I just went in, measured out the distances that I wanted for every one of my shelves. You know, like I kind of made this a smaller shelf for my remotes, and, uh, and then the other shelves for my receivers um, that I might have. Guys, it's messy, I haven't cleaned everything up yet. Uh, don't blame me for that. The, um, I'm trying to think what else. The one thing, make sure you know, if you're, if you're changing heights from what I currently have, I bought casters, so, and I made, uh, let me see here what my casters are. I think I just bought them from Home Depot, but I bought two and a half inch casters. So the two and a half inch casters gave me another, you know, two and a half inches on top. So you make sure, you know, whatever kind of rack you're building, make sure you're not gonna hit your uh, doorway whenever you go to close it. So, uh, dun, dun, dun. other than that, that's really about it, guys. It's ugly, it's not pretty by any means, but it does the job and it saves me. I can't, I can't imagine how much a, a um, 
rack like this would be if I were to, were to buy it online or something like this, this big of a rack. So, and you can always add more shelves. You can always, if you don't like the, where things are spaced, you can always un, just undrill everything. And I left everything tapped and or open. So you can always undrill and relocate and add more shelves if you want. So yeah, that's what I got. Anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions on it. Things have been working fantastic so far. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys.